Tiger and Hats of Frank Sinatra. Great combination. All right, nine weeks into the season. No surprise, Northwood at the top of the tack, but after a sub-500 season last year, Ottawa Hills only one game back. Northwood at Ottawa Hills. Coach Hartman got his team playing good. 14-9, Northwood at half, third quarter. Dustin full in love. In for the touchdown, 21-9 Rangers, and then they just start pouring it on. Three minutes later, Nick Russell after the fake handoff, bull and by 48 yards for the keeper. Northwood pulls away for the win, 49-9 over the Green Bears. NLL, Springfield, it's out for you. Jenny Field Commander, good job. Springfield was here a couple weeks ago. Devils up, Devils up 7-0 in the first one. Jay Fisher, halfback pass to Travis Miller. Two-point conversion good, 8-7. Devils just running all over the Cougar D in the first half. Big 30-yard chunk broken off here. But, hey, you want to be on TV? No, that's okay, man. That's, no, I don't. I, I don't want to be on TV. Austin Valdez does when he finds J.Q. Bowers. Touchdown. Cougars win 50-29, to guaranteeing the NL title for the fifth year in a row. Malmi and Anthony Wayne has a lot to do with this. I don't know what that meant. 36 all. We go to overtime. In OT, Generals with a chance to win in regulation, actually. 30-yard field goal, no good. So now we go to overtime. First possession, Anthony Wayne's Anthony Dulé. Dulé. Touchdown. Malmi got to respond to keep the game going. Brandon Phoenix does just that. Tied up at 43. Second OT, Jake Schneider picked off by Josh Schwer. Coach John Bowles livid. So that ball's on the ground. Refs say no. Very next play, Aaron Dulé. Dulé for the win. I know what it was for, the Battle of Taco Bell and Conant. That's what we used to play for. But this year, the Generals win it 49-43 in double OT. Moving on, Perrysburg at Bowling Green. First quarter, first and 10 on the 42. Mark Dellis bowling over a Bobcat right there. Scampers into the end zone. They missed a two-point conversion, 6-0, Jackets on top. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. BG still trailing by six. Andrew Dennis tipped by Nick Munger to Michael Sears, makes the catch. Derek Shorter runs it in the next play. 7-6, Bobcats. But on the ensuing drive, Steve Slocum capped it with the keeper. Two-point conversion, good. Perrysburg goes on a roll, 47-7. Napoleon at Northview, jump around. Jump around, third play from scrimmage, Skyler Anderson. Look at, stays on his feet somehow, puts the hand down. That's a hand play, 53 yards, seven nothing, Wildcats on top. Second quarter we go, same score. As Anderson celebrates, Bryant Schlade for Napoleon. Oh, taking some shots, but he still keeps running. 20 yards in midfield. Northview's Austin Schwerking, though, gonna stop that drive with the interception. Napoleon, however, shuts out the catch. 38-0. Down in the Midland Athletic League, a matchup of two of the top 10 teams in the state. Unbeaten Hopewell Loudon, fourth in D5. One loss Tiffin Calvert, sixth in D6. Calvert at Hopewell Loudon playing for the MAL. Tied at 14 at half. Hopewell Loudon's Logan Kearney finds his way in down. 28 yards to the two. Then Tyler Tyree keeps it for the diving touchdown. He got banged up a little bit last week. Looking good this week. Calvert just couldn't get the ball going because of plays like this. Hopewell lines Richie Fox with a big sack on Nathan Richler. Then Richler going back. This time it's not Fox. How about Brock Hill? Adding insult to injury, James Roush would take down Richler again. Hopewell smothering defense leads them to a 28-14 win. I did what we needed to do you know, against a really good football team. Uh, we got some field position there and uh, scored scored our last touchdown and put us up too, so that was big. We, got uh, we knew we had to come out of the second half. We got the ball back uh, to start the half, and we just had to put a score up, and we did. Congratulations, Chieftains. All right, time to head back to the Rockies Band. St. Andre Savage with the Rossford Band. Andre. Thank you, Mr. Harbert. That's right. We are kicking it here with the Rossford Band, and they're always stellar. Some of my people in the back kept their fedoras on. I got a guy here in a beret. We're going to talk to him in a moment. I have business to do, though. Back to football. Let's go. Here we go. North Baltimore at Lakota. That's right. Indian mascot. We're chopping. We're ready. Time for football. Here we go. Quarterback Jordan Watson looking, and he hits Brandon. Solly. What does Solly do? He thinks he has a touchdown, but not quite. He's down on the one as it was ruled, but that would set up a touchdown for this man. Dalton Ishmael. Yes, yeah, score that. Moving on now. The Raiders would respond. Let's watch this work from our man Chris Robbins. Look at this, people. Wheeling, dealing, off the edge. Bounce. Yes, and he sees the corner and gets that. 30-yard touchdown run. 
Lakota would fall just short though. People, North Baltimore victorious tonight, 30 to 29. As we come back to the bandstand, real quick, I got my man with the beret over here. Your name, sir? Ocean. Ocean to make it even worse, people. I never see, I'm over here, I never see a bass. I never see a thumper on the bandstand. Can you give me a quick solo though and be flashy for me, sir? We always love Eric Halbert's work here, and we love him for having us. Rosper's band, people. Ocean. That's, that's awesome. That's a great – you'll never forget that name. All right, we're at halftime here on The Frenzy. When we come back, we hit the BBC, and we're going to head back to the Ralphie's Bandstand before the break.